And at that moment, I had a, um, a, an image appear. It was almost like a, a dream image, almost a hallucination. And I saw a tiger crouching and getting ready to, to pounce, to attack. And I said, Nancy, there's a, there's a tiger chasing you. Run, run, escape, climb those rocks and escape. And for a moment, well, for a moment seemed to be an eternity. And then her legs started to shake and tremble and they started moving up and down as though they were running. And this went on for 30, 40 minutes and uh, at times her, her hands would become ice cold, at other times her body was so hot that you could, I could feel the heat radiating. Uh, sometimes she would be sweating, other times there would be a very nice color would appear, then again she would turn pale. And then as this continued, these cycles continued for 30 minutes, she began to take very deep spontaneous breaths. And when I, when, I, when I say spontaneous, I mean it's like she was being breathed. It's not like me saying, okay, take a deep breath. And it was this, as I later discovered, this, sh this cycle of the shaking and trembling and these deep spontaneous breaths, which were responsible, as we found out, for the, uh, for the disappearance of many of her symptoms and for the diminishing of all of them. But anyhow, uh, as this went on and at the end her body had a very nice color, her hands, her fingers were uh, warm and I said, I said to her, no, no, I, she opened her eyes and she said to me, she said, do you want to know what happened? Well, you know, of course I'm this expert in mind-body, of course I know what's happening. Well, I didn't. And I, I said, yeah, please, please tell me. And she said, well, when you had me relax my neck, I started to feel myself really relaxing and it was a tremendous relief. But then something happened and I don't know what happened. I didn't do it. All of a sudden I was terrified again. And I had actually discovered something that some years later would actually be called relaxation-induced panic. And um, I, didn't, I didn't think to publish it, so <laughs> that is not what I'm known for. Well, anyhow, uh, then she said, when you told me to relax, I could feel myself relaxing, but it was a funny kind of relaxing. It didn't feel good, and I felt more and more terrified, and I felt like I was suffocating, like I couldn't breathe. And then I had a picture. When I was four years old, I had a tonsillectomy and I was given ether for the tonsillectomy as this is the way it was done in those days in the 1940s and 50s. And I was so completely terrified and I think that this is what was causing so many of my, my problems. And she was right. She was right. Uh, the panic attack was the last panic attack she had the physical symptoms, the, the migraines dr greatly diminished, the severe PMS also was greatly diminished, uh, the fibromyalgia and the chronic fatigue also over a period of several weeks diminished. I did see her about f a few more times after that to do more grounding and empowerment exercises that I had been working with. And so, but anyhow, this is what really ch uh, changed the direction of my life and the direction of my work, the direction of my life as well, because my life became s consumed with trying to understand what went on. And as I worked with more and more clients, m many referred from that psychiatrist, I started to discover all of the so-called seemingly ordinary events that happen to most people that can lead to these kinds of symptoms that, that um, uh, this woman, Nancy, had.